he's not, you know, the, the, the person calling all the shots in the lab. He's working for Mills and trying to um, uh, continue to, to, to push his genetic dream forward, but it's under very different circumstances. Someone else is, is telling him what to do and how to do it and in what time to do it in and, and what time frame and, and all of that. So he's not only much more confined as a, as a kind of artist, because I think he fancies himself as an artist, but he's um, not in control of anything. He's, he's completely, um, his hands are tied. The Indominus Rex was the first foray at reinventing the wheel and taking something that already existed, not just cloning it, but then morphing it or, or crossbreeding it with something else and making something else out of it. So now we know in the world of Jurassic World that that can be done. And so then the possibilities of all the things that could be done subsequently are really great. So in this movie, we have this Indoraptor, which is probably even scary. Is, is it possible <laughs> that it's scarier than the Indominus Rex? It's, I don't know. I don't know what to say about it, except that it's, if I was Dr. Henry Brew and I made it, I'd be very proud of myself.